such type of quality. You know, so I, there were many times the question was asked to me in India that why don't I enter politics? And I said that, I mean, why do you want to become enemy? I mean, I have to jokingly tell them. Because in today's world, if you enter politics, there are high chances that you will spoil your akhirah. Very high chances. Because the way the ummah and the society is made, that if you want to live and remain in that seat, you will have to compromise on your principles. And the best example I can give you is of Dr. Israr Ahmed. Dr. Israr Ahmed, you know that, mashallah, he was a very great guy. And he gave the seal of the Quran. He was very knowledgeable. He was popular and he stood for election and he won the election. After he won the election, he got a uh, member of parliament he was made and he was given some post and after a few months he resigned he said asking me how, what should be the width of the road that's not what i'm made for when i'm giving them islamic solution they don't want to listen he immediately resigned so good person who is following the deen he will either have to give up his deen or give up his position and whatever dr israel did was the best there may be few people like Dr. Isra Ahmed who may be Islamic and may have got into politics, but I don't know anyone who's a leader. May have come on a lower position, not as the head of state, and may be following the deen. But the way the society is made today, our ummah, you will either have to give up the post that you're in or give up the deen. So first of all, I'm not fit to be in that position. Neither do I want to spoil my akhirah. I would, I'm very happy in being a dai and I am very satisfied with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever Niyama has given me.